stagnation temperature and stagnation enthalpy. Uh, suppose that our steady flow control volume uh, is a set of steam line. If you are just saying like these are just a, a constant steam line uh, and they the, the, and passing through a blunt object over here somewhere. Or in other word, if I'm saying like let's say let's assume like we have got uh, an uh, object, a bullet kind of an object or an aeroplane actually flowing into a constant steam line. Um, so we are having two initial condition, uh, two condition. Uh, initial condition when the steam line is somewhere a little bit far away from the object. And the final point when the steam line just hits the blunt object itself. So these steam lines are stationary in space as we are saying like there's a constant steam line, there's a steady flow steam line. So they, they, they are stationary in space. So there will be no external work done uh, of, or the fluid as it is actually flowing. Another word, what, what I'm saying like, uh, let's suppose like these steam lines are not, not actually constant and there is actually some, 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 something actually a pressure which is actually coming from this, this side of the the, the, the steam line or this side of so there would be actually some external work on this object itself and the object would be moving due to the the work done uh, so uh, the the assumption is actually the, there is actually actually a steady flow constant steam line that's it um and then also assume like there is no heat transfer into and out of the system the object is actually not leaving some heat out of the system and it is actually not even even getting some heat into the system. So there is two condition into the into the uh, system itself. There is no external work done, so the work done component is zero, and there is no heat transfer to the system, so that the heat transfer component is zero as well. Uh, moving to the the above equation, the steady flow energy equation. So the heat transfer is zero, and for the steady flow uh, streamline, the the work done was actually equal to the work done again is equal to zero. So the, the above equation or the, the steady flow energy equation would be something equal to like this thing. Um, also assuming like the object itself is not positioning or not uh, changing its position, there is no actually uh, Z uh, change in the Z or potential energy. So we are assuming like this part of the system is also zero, uh, uh, equal to zero. Uh, as the mass is also uh, constant, so we will be ignoring this part as well. So we are, the steady flow energy equation, the above steady flow energy equation, is now equal to this, which is actually the enthalpy component and the kinetic energy component. The enthalpy component at the initial and the kinetic energy component at the initial as well. Uh, enthalpy for the ideal gas equation, which is actually enthalpy H is equal to Cp that you remember from the last lecture. So now CPT2 minus C, C2, C, C squared by 2, what we call it as a, a kinetic energy, and CPT1 plus, actually, so not that's, that's plus again, uh, plus C1 squared by 2 for the uh, kinetic energy component. For the stagnation point, actually, what we call, what, what is actually stagnation point? The stagnation point is when actually the air or any fluid just hit the nose or the blunt object or state two. When it actually it hits the state two point, imagine the at that particular instant, the velocity would become zero. So that means like this component, which is actually kinetic energy component, would become zero. And that temperature at which, at, at that point, would be now called as the stagnation point now. So that means like, when this component is zero, Cp, T, now it is actually stagnation temperature, is equal to, now, Cp, T1, which is actually initial condition, plus C one square by two now. Just divide by Cp, 
this will gone and then we will be having this one now. So this is actually the component or this is the stagnation temperature. So what is actually stagnation temperature? The stagnation temperature is the temperature, temperature that the fluid would reach if we, it was brought to the zero speed by the steady adiabatic process with no external work done. So that means like when we hit the object at point two, the speed becomes zero. Initially, we were assuming that the process was steady flow. And we were also assuming that the process was adiabatic with no external work done. So now the proper definition of the stagnation temperature would be the stagnation temperature is the temperature at which the fluid would reach if it would brought it at a zero speed by a steady adiabatic process with it, no external work done. Know that for the any any steady adiabatic flow with no external stagnation temperature is constant when we need it actually and when, when we need the stagnation temperature and stagnation pressure. So let's suppose we have got the same kind of an object or let's suppose an aeroplane and that's actually flying the steady flow airspace. So we are interested in the temperature at the surface of the aeroplane or we are interested in the pressure at the surface of the aeroplane so we are saying like this would be the stagnation temperature and stagnation pressure of the object of the um, yes of the object on its surface it is definitely of the prime importance so our it is convenient to define the stagnation enthalpy as well and the stagnation enthalpy would be equal to this one from the above equation and if you are writing the steady flow energy equation in terms of in, uh, stagnation enthalpy, you can actually write it like this as well. Uh, for the quasi static adiabatic process, uh, you have already done in your term exam as well. You have derived these equation. For the stagnation pressure, you can derive this equation. We are not supposed to derive this equation, but yes, for the stagnation pressure, our, our stagnation uh, pressure, our equation would something look, look like this. Uh, where M is actually the Mach number, Mach number is actually the Mach number is equal to C by A. Uh, please check your book for more further detail. Uh, the stagnation uh, pressure is the pressure that the fluid would reach if it is brought to zero speed, adiabatic quasi, quasi static process with no action work, uh, work done. So an area of common confusion over here is the frame dependence of the stagnation quant uh, quantities. The stagnation temperature and stagnation pressure are the condition in which the, the fluid would reach if it was brought to zero speed and that is actually relative to the some reference frame. For example, if you are moving, uh, if an object is moving in a, in a space actually, and an and a fluid is actually hit the object at that point. So obviously at that particular instant actually, the velocity of both the, uh, both the object and the fluid is z relative to each other is zero. And that's what we are saying like when it is actually brought to a zero condition. Depending on the speed of the reference frame, the stagnation quantity will take different value so yes if it is actually moving at different speed and it is hitting at different speed so obviously we are not talking about the relative zero speed and we will be talking about different values steady flow energy equation in terms of stagnation enthalpy we have already derived the equation above equation in terms of enthalpy and yes we might be using in when we are looking at the uh, the nozzles or the jets uh, examples in the next few uh, courses